slow. I hope the microphone's working. I have no idea. First time using the microphone in the helmet. There's quite a bit of wind, I think. I can hear a lot. I'm just going to try shutting the visor. I don't know if that's any better. It sounds a bit strange to me. Because I can hear, me, hear me, myself, sort of thing. So... Yeah, this, this is just a test. Um, to see if the mic's working really I don't know whether this will actually get on YouTube or not because <laughs> it all depends I mean I don't even know if the camera's the right angle I think you might be seeing quite a bit of a tank um, but I can adjust that later just open the hook visor So out for a ride round and eventually up to Haywards, Cambridge, um, there's a Royal Enfield club do there, um, barbecue I understand, it's the first time I'll go into it so I can't tell you a lot about it, so I think there's an auto jumble barbecue 11 a.m. this morning, Saturday, um, and lots of bikes, people testing bikes, uh, all sorts of stuff going on, and um, I've recently took the screen off. I quite like it with it off, but I, I'm kind of thinking. You're probably getting a better view on the camera, but possibly more wind noise in the helmet, or I'll just shut the, vo the visor again. Um, I don't know which is best. That's <laughs> as a matter of, at the moment, having it up some of the time and down some of the other time. Oh, there's all people in that field. What are they doing? Um, Oh, I must be dogging. <laughs> I don't know. Summer with a crop, I think. So I've, I've now done. Well, let me just look. 608 miles. So still running in, but uh, I can apparently now do 60. Woo! So that's that's all right, isn't it? Um, yeah, so it's a nice cold morning, you know, nice and fresh at the moment. Uh, I don't like it when it's hot, I put an old motorcycle gear on there, especially when you stop. Um, I seem to suffer with the heat, but um, it's lovely this morning. It's, uh, it's ten past nine at am at the moment, so lovely day really. I've got to get used to this talking business, talking to myself. <laughs> Bit strange it seems, especially if you don't know if it's working. Last time I went out I recorded loads and then find, found that the microphone wasn't, I mean the microphone was plugged in for some reason the camera hadn't seen it so it, with the, um, just a sec um, with the uh, microphone adapter it seems 
it doesn't see the microphone and they sort of unplug it and plug it back in which is a bit weird and then everything's for so that's what I'm doing now and that appears to be only when I'm using an external battery pack because um, um, if I use GoPro batteries uh, mine might be three years old-ish and uh, they really not lasting long and they get very very hot which which also makes the camera hot um, so I've even tried having the battery in and the uh, power pack which is in my front pocket um, connected then it, it's kind of charging and it gets hot that way so I've taken the battery completely out I just just power the GoPro on the um, power pack and um, that's why for some strange reason I have to take the um, uh, the microphone jack plug out and plug it back in and it works uh, a bit weird but uh, let's see what happens this time Perhaps I'm just talking to myself and nobody can hear me. Uh, when I get to Haywards I'll probably um, just quickly play a bit back and see if it's working. Because I have no idea um, the level of I hope what I'm hoping for is that you can hear the exhaust. A, a little bit of wind noise is alright. Um, and me talking all well two things really the exhaust mainly and me talking and to get that level I might have to move the microphone away from the edge of the helmet or or, or even buy one of these um, fluffy things uh, time will tell um, I'm really hoping because I've done a lot of experimentations um, I'm really hoping it's alright I mean, I used to do it with without a uh, mic in the helmet and Pfizer, um, open face helmet, Pfizer completely up and I did get some success but of course quite a bit of wind noise so I only just recently bought the um, GoPro adapter uh, it, it's a really cheap mic, it's just a uh, um, it out in a minute it's just a computer mic in fact the all day motorcycle this sort of one he recommended and give a link to um, I bought apparently if you have a really good quality mic they're much more sensitive and for this purpose they might actually be worse so I went with a, a quite a cheap one and uh, let's see what happens so I started off um, after a 40 year break of riding I, start, I started off again with a, a Royal Enfield Bullet, a used one from Highwoods and um, that was lovely, but did it? Boy, did it vibrate! I mean, you couldn't see in the mirrors, and the footrest at 50, the footrest were buzzing like a blooming good one. I then bought the Interceptor, brand new, lovely bike. But after a while, I mean, I'm not a young bloke, 75. I found the Interceptor top heavy, to be honest and qu quite a lump getting it in the gate and you turning it around and things like that parking up and putting on the centre so I mean when I was young I would have just done it um, I lost a lot of confidence on that boy and then I road tested this down Haywards again wonderful garage by the way um, Haywards, Cambridge, Girton so lovely there, free tea and coffee and a nice chat. Um, anyway, and I, I road tested this meat here, 
and it felt so nimble and lighter and I can complete I ain't got very long legs so I completely flat foot on the ground and yeah it's slower and I do miss that but um, I'm just finding that this bike is so nimble that um, my confidence has come back Yeah, well, comfort. I mean, I could sort of sling this around, uh, get it on the centre stand, manoeuvre it, U turn. Uh, the worry's all gone. And I love the sound. I have decatted it, I uh, took the big, that big thing underneath near the sort near the centre stand off. Uh, I tried the straight through so answer. And it did go a lot faster, I have to admit. But it was so noisy 